Hi, this is Richard Ortiz with The Fighter's Voice, voiceography at its best. Remember, every fighter has a voice, and so does Jose Ramirez, not just a voice, but two hands. He was in Fresno, California, took care of business of a tough opponent, but yet he still has time for his fans, family, and his culture. Enough said. I'm here with the champ. How are we feeling, champ? I'm feeling good. You know, it's a, it was a good fight. I was able to, you know, be a lot, be very patient, and you know that shows the, my experience you know, in the sport is to be to be patient and to be composed. Uh, there was an early knockdown that came in um, that you know the, the referee called it a knockdown, which I thought you know it was uh, it wasn't a knockdown. I really uh, you know if I would admit if it was a knockdown, but it wasn't a knockdown. But but I was able to get up and and not lose focus, which is the, which was uh, very important. Uh, you know that that knockdown also you know gave him a little bit of uh, uh, hope and opportunity. Right. So you know he kept him strong too. So I guess you know things happen for a reason, and you know that that gave me an extra six rounds. And it wasn't to the sixth round when I when uh, you know when I got my opportunity, I landed a good left hook to the body, uh, which put him down. And then I hurt him with the jab, uh, which took him to the ropes. And then I you know the referee stopped it uh, from him not responding to uh, more than you know six ten punches that I threw. You know, I noticed when uh, I, I saw you debate the knockdown, more of a pushdown, but you kept composed and you had enough in the gas tank. Is that all those sparring rounds that you had in the Philippines with Manny Pacquiao? Yeah, you know, I felt like, you know, I sparred, I sparred uh, very good fighters with, uh, with more power, with more speed. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's different when you're, in the, when you're inside the ring with smaller gloves. You know, um, this guy, uh, you know, he's also a good fighter, very tough fighter, very hungry fighter. And, you know, he's... Uh, I heard you know he's done good sparring sessions with people like with guys like Danny Garcia out there in you know in New York and and in New Jersey. So you know the same way I've been sparring with the best, I'm sure he's been sparring with the best too. So um, I'm very I'm very happy the fight went the way the way it did. Uh, I'm happy that I got the, the six rounds in my experience in my books, and you know not just to uh, take a take a break because it, it was a long training camp and. Um, you know, something that, you know, it wasn't so much the, the fight was tough, but just the overall training camp was, was tough. So, you know, I can't wait for that vacation. You, know, you said about sparring with the best. Uh, you must admit, you do have the best fans here in Fresno, California, and the best familia también. I mean, everybody's here supporting Jose Ramirez. You walk in there and it just erupts. They're all yelling, Jose, Jose. Even when he pushed you down and they rolled it a knockdown, they were still behind your corner. How does that make you feel? You know, the, the, the fans saw it. You know, they saw it. So, you know, I, I was able to actually hear the boo on coming from, the, from other fans. And, and uh, you know that that was that it's definitely a blessing. You know I'm very blessed and thankful for the support that I get from the fans, from my family, uh, from my team, uh, from every, everyone at Top Rank. You know for allowing me to bring boxing into this valley. Uh, for you know the the network Uni, Unimas always does a, they do a great job working with me and my family, uh, the commission, you guys, the media, everybody. You know we did a, a great thing today and. Uh, putting on this big show that I heard there was over there was almost 14,000 people 13 13,700 which you no know, that's that's crazy for a boxing event in in a uni mass in a uni mass card you know what I will say this you have five thousand dollar cameras around you but yet I noticed the other day you did a full-fledged interview this gentleman's holding a cell phone and you conducted yourself with the full respect as if he was holding that five thousand dollar camera you always make time for the fans and we talked about it off camera about your upbringing and another thing I just got I want to take this time to thank you fully from my heart for you wearing my son on your shorts it means it means the world to me you know you did that I appreciate that <clears throat> You, you, did, you did really well, and um, most of all, the fans were behind you. We were we were behind you, and uh, I was touched and I was moved, and I really do appreciate that gesture. You know, and this is this is the type of fighter I am. You know, I, I, you know, like people say say before, you know, I fight for a lot of people besides myself. You know, and that makes me extra strong, and and that makes me feel invincible. To to you know, to uh, it makes me feel almost invincible. You know, and. Um, you know gestures like you know like putting your your, your son uh, rest in peace in my in my trunks you know that you. that's showing respect to you Thank to what you have done because uh, be, both me and my manager Rick you know we saw that you you know you've been behind me behind the local fighters uh, really you know uh, hungry to you know really uh, put us out there and and also you know get started in the sport of boxing so you know we wish you uh, good luck from Team Ramirez and uh, continue working hard the way you have been Richard and uh, you know hopefully the, more, the bigger I climb, the bigger you guys can climb with me too. Thank you. He's been a class act. Class act. Richard Ortiz here in Fresno, California with the oven all kid, Jose Ramirez. And he's still undefeated and he will wear all three unified belts. And it's a wrap here in Fresno. Thumbs up for Richie.